welcome to this game. Uh, it's basically a game where you explore dungeon open doors, and it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, we have a lot of different characters and some different pods to choose from. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to be stay staying with the default escape pod, but we have uh, certain ones which, which uh, gives different bonuses, like one with more food, uh, one which is you cannot pause the game, which is something you can't do multiplayer anyways. That's uh, also the hard mode pod, too. Yeah, that's, like, yeah, heal hero is more expensive, monsters react when you research new modules, things like that. Unwinnable game, endless dungeon kind of a thing, like, it, it just completely never ends. Would you uh, say it was a dungeon of the endless? Yeah, I would say. Already pod makes our hero, our, our strength heroes more stronger, but you, you find less of them and some other shit, and... Uh, we're, we're just, do as I said, don't worry about it, we're just doing default game, vanilla. And uh, for this game, uh, we have some characters. Uh, so they have different roles. Uh, this person is like a really fast runner. Uh, this guy's a healer. Uh, fucking uh, uh, operator here. Spider bitch. Just call her Spider bitch. Spider bitch. Yeah. Uh, some defensive heroes here. Like they all have different kind of stats and things like that. But I'm gonna just go random and yellow, kind of the entire thing. So uh, that's how I'm gonna do I it. I'm picking our only staple hero as Goraku. Yeah, you, you can't lose this Gork. Gork is Gork. Yeah, he's an uh, enormous, powerful man with a violent temper and an angry face. Every sentient human he has ever He fits me, Gork. dude. Yeah, fucking Pat's so angry all the time. Dude, but, he's Wesker. Come on. <laughs> he's, he is pretty awesome, though. And we can either play a too easy or easy. And it's essentially normal and hard, actually. It's impossible. Kind of, kind it's literally hard. impossible. It gets it gets kind of difficult. But, well, we've done it on easy before. We've uh, easy beaten before. it once, you ass. Yeah, I think we can do it again. We have a, we have a pretty good chance. So I'm gonna start us up, and we'll get a, we'll get going, and we'll see what character I roll. Also, there is the TF2 characters, which is I find really out of place for this game, and I wish I, I think could they're awesome. Them. I I wish we could remove them. To be honest, I hate them. Well, that's because you're a who the fuck? I have never seen that character. He's a sciencey guy. He's the Draken bitch, I think. Yeah, he is. He gets so, more attack power and speed if there's research in progress on the floor. So I should mention this because it took Mike like 20 hours into this game to realize it. This game is called Dungeon of the Endless and it is relative to Endless Legend and Endless Space. It actually takes place on Orega from Endless Legend. So, you know, because Mike didn't realize that till fucking 20 hours in, I'm repeating it now for his benefit. So... The entire point of the game is to defend this little crystal here that's with her escaped dropship. And uh, we just simply, the game is about opening doors. When you open doors, you find rooms like this. And in this particular room, we can build a major module slot as well as a couple of minor modules, uh, minor modules as well. So Pat will go ahead and make a science uh, industry. Sorry, industry creating item here. And I will go to another room here, and here's another one with another one, uh, another major model slot. I will show you how I make it. I go, hey, I want to make a food replicator here. And I put that there, and if I want, I can put some guns or just support items and stuff, which we do not have research. So I will be funneling all my industry to Pat, so I will not have to worry about doing that anymore because I'm lazy. Well, I'm giving you the science in return, so good luck with that. This, we... ga this game is like an unholy hybrid between an RT, like an RTS strategy game, and a roguelike. It's honest to god, really weird. I guess I'll handle this solo. I ran through. I actually yes. hate this guy. Why? <laughs> uh, he's, he kind of sucks. I won't lie. Uh, but dude, he, he looks—he's got like this badass claymore on his back, and he's like blue. But he's a shitter. He's blue. The idea is we want to find the exit to the floor, and we want to just kind of like leave this place. That's why it's a dungeon, because we just crash landed here or something. And uh, so we just got to keep opening doors. So every time we open a door, we get resources from the uh, modules we built, as well as like this. We just got some modules there. Why did you make an another food? Oh, you made a food? You fucking asshole. You're so fat. Holy shit. Oh, I also use food to level up. So food is um, a resource to both heal and level up. And uh, that's essentially all it's for. So it's nice to have food. Like, it's not a bad idea that he made it. It's also used to recruit more characters, because we are only two people right now, but our party will grow as time goes on. Did, did you not want to make science at all on this floor? Well, I didn't know you made food. Why the fuck would you make something? It's always my thing to make I, the I things. I fucking was showing you as an example. 
Well, obviously that example All right. failed, and you should feel bad. <sighs> Anyways, science, which is apparently something Pat is very uh, phobic of. Uh, Gork. Yeah, Gork is very afraid of, of science. Uh, it can be used to reset cooldowns of active skills. This character does not have any until my next level, because you can see when I hover over it, it's going to give me one. Uh, and it can also be used to research better modules, which is something that, why well, it's the reason that you want to kind of get it a little bit earlier than what Pat is doing, but Pat's an idiot. And then we have... Gork ain't got no reason for science. And then we have industry, which is to build the modules, and then dust, which is to power rooms. And so we're completely done on every 10 dust can be used to power one room. So we just need to find one more dust and we can power another room. Right now they're all powered, so we're not really worried about it. And I cannot power this Usually room. the ways that you find so. dust is you have a small chance to get dust for every enemy you kill. And also every door you open has a chance to give dust as well. One of these, one of these doors he'll open, you'll see that there'll be like ten or so dust, and it'll be in like Eight. a big old cloud. Yeah. And we also got a rapier. I think that my character uses it. No, he uses spears, doesn't he? Yes, he uses spears. You look like you have a giant sword on your back. So I'll, that seems kind of silly. It's a spear. So what are you gonna do? So we can keep that and sell complain. it later. Yes, yeah, so we can complain. Yes. Uh, so each character can usually have a weapon, a piece of armor, and a miscellaneous item. Uh, some characters are uh, kind of deviate from that and are special in that way. Pretty much any character that doesn't use armor, I'm going to go ahead and say is complete garbage because they're not Gork. <laughs> Apparently I just got a new active skill to decrease all monsters on the floor their speed. So, I hope this guy becomes... What is awesome. wrong with your grammar today? Uh, I don't know. Dyslexia or something. Who, who the fuck knows? I have to fucking say it again. Six gun was added. That is a pistol, which we neither of us use. So it's fucking great. Ah. Can you like decide on a door to open here? No. All right, and here we have our little research guy here. Uh, unfortunately, Pat hates science, but luckily we have forty-seven science, which is just enough. To research industry generator level two. See, it all worked out. Gork knows fucking best, and also this is entirely your fault. Okay, Pat's an idiot. But who would have guessed? And here again on the chest, pea shooters active, uh, added. So yet another weapon that we won't use. Hey, Pretty at least much. if we ever find a merchant, you know we'll have some pea shooters to sell in. Yeah, the merchants in this game sell things for any uh, sell or buy things for any of the four resources, so it c it could be any of any of them at all. Okay, this must have the exit. Yeah, literally the last one had the exit. So the research takes uh, either three doors to uh, unlock, or it just unlocks everything at the very end. And I cannot start any new researches even if I wanted to. So with this part of the game, what we need to do is we need to take that big crystal to that area that he just opened, because that last door is going to be the elevator to the next floor. But as soon as he grabs that, monsters are going to start pouring out of all of the unpowered rooms. So we need to set up a defense, and or just set up a path that he can travel that will allow him to get to the room the quickest way. Mainly because while he's carrying the crystal, he has no way to defend himself. Also, I'm unbelievably slow. Like, this character is not very fast. And even fucking slower with the crystal. Like these, <laughs> these little bug things are actually catching up to me. I mean, the only You'll thing worse. Be fine. The you only, got this. <laughs> the only thing worse than me carrying it is Pat carrying it. So. <laughs> I know, right? Fucking, okay, at least you've got probably 20 plus speed. Gork is like 12 speed, dude. Gork is slower than fucking. Molasses. Yes. Gork is slower than molasses climbing up a tree in January. <laughs> Gork. Oh Dude, my God. but so, and I don't think we ever explained this, and Mike can show this off. Every individual character has a set of stats, which is everything from HP to health regen to defense to speed to wit. And all of that is pretty self explanatory, except for wit. Wit is like a culmination of the character's intelligence, and it's used on certain characters to like operate like the little modules we make to either make them more effective or for us to get more resources out of them. Characters like Gork um, basically sacrifice everything in the way of speed and wit for massive HP and DPS. Whereas characters like what Mike has, I have no idea because I've never seen it and it looks like shit. Sorry, oh. Mike, your character's awful. Prisoner Prod level 2. Uh, can't get that yet, though. 
because we don't have science. I wonder why. Fine, we'll get more fucking science. Don't be a bitch. Oh boy, it's what Mitzi, the fuck is Mitzi. that? Oh, it's Titty Bitch. <laughs> Dude, I, okay, and I mean this in the least offensive way possible, but she heaves her chest in a way that I haven't seen since I played Tekken. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you here. She's also a character that absolutely hates uh, being with other characters. Yeah, she actually gets negative penalties for it. It's and retarded. Can, and cannot have a weapon. <laughs> so she's actually really bad, but beggars oh, can't be choosers. Can we just eat her? Why did you recruit her? I I, I well, swear to God, you should have just let Orc devour her. It's it's food for later. And I mean that in a non-sexual way. Dehydrated water was added to our inventory. All right, that would be uh, HP max and gives the ability extinguish. Oh, heal cost negative ten percent. I think Pat wants that. Yeah, because I'll be I'll be tanking and I'll also be able to taunt at a certain point, so that'll actually be really good for me. All right. We can't build any modules in that room. Like seriously. Also, any uh, what was that? I think it was uh, Tekken Three and Tekken Tag Tournament. Right. Well, the character was introduced. Are you giving it me your signs? It was that one. Fuck off. It was that <laughs> one bitch that had the giant floating like Yao Guai bear behind her. That's who she reminds me of because she's got that weird like ghost shit behind her. And especially if you see her fighting and shit, she does that like the little ghost thing behind her does the same shit. I also think that one minute character did that too, but I don't I, I can't remember. My memory's foggy because that was like, like oh in the early boy. 2000s. What oh is it? boy, a hipster scarf. A hipster scarf. Oh shit, we going off. I can't use the dehydrated water. Fuck it. You don't need that dehydrated I, water. <laughs> I don't. I'll I'm gonna fucking Mitzi take. will take the dehydrated water. It's fine. So what the hipster scarf does is it gives the wearer of it the trait me first. Which means that they have to be the first in everything, which also means they're going to be the first to be hit by all monsters. And the first to die. So I get to basically just get free taunt. Which makes me really happy. Except for that guy who just does not like Mitzi for whatever reason, so... Well, nobody likes Mitzi. What the I, fuck I is know, she doing? Right? <laughs> I know, right? She's like growing up in a ball. What the fuck? Dude, I told you, she's fucking insane. Okay. And now you got her in the chest heaving pose. Thank you. Well, I, I was wondering what the fuck she was doing. I was just slightly I, worried. I preferred the other pose over this one. This one just kind of like makes me feel dirty. Also, I'm powering that room and powering this one. Oh, good. They, they, won't, in, they won't go anywhere else. Yeah, go send Mitzi up to that other top room. Okay. Get her the fuck out of here. I want her away from me. Thank you. But Mitzi. Fucking creeping me out. We need more food, dude. Why have oh. you made so much industry? Well, food replicator level 2, 46 science. I'm a little bit away from that. Oh. 18 science right now. Well, I give you three a turn. Yeah, well. You can move Mitzi up into that darkened room so nothing spawns up there. And then she, she's pretty fast, so she can just move down here to help us if we need it. But do you truly need it? Oh, probably not, but I'm just saying. She doesn't do very well with the... Uh... Yeah, you're fine. Did you just fucking eat through? Yeah. Why? Fucking pussy. It'll be fine. Hey, fuck off, dude. Look at these pussy reflexes. Dude, I've got Soylent Green. I'll be fine. I'll just eat more monsters and or if it gets bad enough, I'll just go fucking like pistol whip Mitzi up there because it's not like anybody cares. I mean, we, we could have up to four heroes, so you might as well take that one. All right, and things are now Do spawning. You, I don't know if I should build it. I'm not sure if I should build anything up there. Uh, I, I don't think so, but actually yeah. nothing, nothing will go there, so you can. So, I should actually mention this, because I, I kind of touched on it before. This game does take place in the same universe as, like, yes, you the did endless say that. space and you all that. that. But, but, all the enemies that we fi fight in this game are actually the races from Endless Legend. Like, those big red crystal guys, those are the Silix. And they actually have pretty specific bonuses relative to how they were in that game. And, like, the ne like there's also the Necrophages. What the fuck are you doing? I made it winter. You didn't make the joke, but okay. Uh, uh, that's not that's not even funny, that joke. I know what you're Yeah, thinking. but, you yeah, know, but still, you know, you could have still done it. For example, every individual enemy has a specific pattern they'll go for, 
the Silix, I aim for crystals bar none. If they can't get to like these module crystals, they'll go straight for the orange crystals. Whereas the Necrophages, ignore the crystals as a rule and will go straight for your characters first. Then you have certain ones like the Hernos and the, um, God, whatever those big orc guys were, which generally show up as bosses in the later floors, which will just fuck your people up. They have no, they have, they hold no, like, quarrels over going over the crystals, because it's booty, but, you know, just fun, fun stuff like that. Booty. Booty, 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 booty. They're not gonna Move Mitzi up a room in front of York. Okay. I want to minimize how much shit we're gonna have to fight. Oh, you weren't saying that before. Yeah, well, now we're ending up with, like, five unpowered rooms, and probably going to be a, a sixth here coming up, so... It's all lies. Ah, oh, there's the exit. That looks like nothing spawned. Actually, we have 48 it, it, it doesn't seem like shit spawns when you find the exit. Have you noticed that? Uh, I don't know. It sometimes does. I don't know. Alright, so Mitzi over here is going to go and uh, start researching something. Uh, food replicator level two sounds pretty good. So we don't, even though we found the exit later on, we'll want to just run to it right away. Uh, for the early levels, we just want to explore every room so we get the most out of the modules we we built because we do not take them with us. It's just a waste if we don't utilize right. them to their fullest right now. Also, this guy becomes faster when I uh, am, when we're researching something, which is kind of nice. Well, that's just retarded sounding. Where's Gork? Gork is in this room. Gork moved back a room, I guess. Because that has our gun in there. <laughs> you guys just go up there, there's just shit tons of stuff. Yeah, I, I thought we uh, already finished everything, to be honest. Alright. I haven't even had to activate Psycho Killer yet. Psycho. On fucking Wesker. I'm gonna go to this floor right here. Well, oh, that's work. a pathetic room. <laughs> I had to add shit in it. Yeah, well, I, it still doesn't change the fact that it's a pathetic room. This guy sucks so much as a runner, by the way. <laughs> How fast is Mitzi compared to him? I think almost the same speed. If she's 27, this guy's 27. Yeah, they, they are. But he is faster when we're researching something. Yeah, so that 27, is that factoring in the research speed, or what? I don't know. So don't, please don't die. <laughs> Not again. Dude, Mitzi's just, like, cowering. God damn, I hate her so much. She's supposed to be on her own, to be honest. She, she was a really shitty pick this early on. Or, like, well, we didn't pick her. It's G, we randomly got her. RNGG'd? Yeah. She's Fantastic. a trash fucking hero. All right, food replicator two unlocked. Ah, industry generator level two, sixty-five science. Not even close. Yeah. I'm gonna slow, I'm gonna slow them down on the floor. Does that does that do any damage, or is it just a slow? It's a, it's a slow. That means we fight less here. All right. Let's move up. Let's see if we'll stay down. See, here. normally I like trying to break up the amount of directions we have to fight shit from, but with how little dust we've actually gotten for how early on this floor is and how long this path is, we're having to basically fight like one long wave. That's getting really obnoxious. So on Mitzi, I just got attack power plus 20, range increased, attack cooldown minus negative four, but cannot move. What? It's battle madness. It's actually a pretty good ability. It's when shit gets tough, she can uh, hold her own in the room. So I'll, I'll let her do that then, I guess. Fuck it. So I'm gonna just come up to the room here. So here, we'll just watch her kill stuff on her own. So she's. Oh, I'm out of food. Oh, wow, that's it. Rip this run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been using a lot of my food to heal, and it's just... It's maybe, just maybe there we go. The other thing. 
Alright, that was a really unlucky run, actually. Yeah, I think we should have just killed Mitzi. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think we should just kill her and ate her. Yeah, but... It was not helping us. But we only had fucking four characters. Oh, sorry, we only had two characters. Yeah, but at least then we would have... I don't know. Fuck it. And you fuck. know what? And you know what? You can bitch all you want about not getting the science, but that extra food all, probably is what let, let us get even that far. <sighs> what should I do with the run we just did? Because we just explained everything. I think that was a good run to put it on because, I mean, that explained everything. We just got a little bit all of right. bad luck with, like, right. uh, Tekken Lady. Okay, you all do. I'll, um, I'll, we'll restart from, like, the second, the beginning of the second floor then. And then, like, we won't have to re-explain anything. So, guys, we played again. Um, we're Three just on, times. we're on level one. Not really. Not really a few times. I just ran, like, a really shitty character. I'm like, fuck that guy. And then I got him again. So I was like, fuck that. Okay, so I'm playing right now as Mormish. Mormish is a support uh, character that does not like fighting. And does not like being in rooms with enemies. And does not like running either. And is not very fast, but I am the fastest out of the both of us, so... <laughs> yeah, like two. He, but he is one of the best operators in the game. Uh, so we have to get a, uh, we have to ac actually get a runner as soon as You're possible. You're our magic herb. Come on, dude. You can do it. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm gonna be, you know what, can I like, should I level one more time? No, I, sh I, I can't even. How much that. food do you have? 40. Yeah, no, I I'm not even risk gonna, it. I'm not even I gonna get risk speed. It. I'm not even gonna get speed for a minute, so. Alright, let's see how slow I go. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> now, if you're with me, Pat, I would go 10 faster. Yeah, but I've gotta clear this shit out ahead of you. That's the problem. We're so fucked. No, I think we're good. Look, nothing's even spawning over near that stele over there. That's so and lucky. Gork is, yeah, dude, that's fucking lucky. And I had these turrets set up here because of this fucking retard path that the game decided to make this floor. Right, okay, I, I made it three rooms in. Hi guys, welcome back to part 39 of, of, of Atlas Dungeon. Good. <laughs> <laughs> part 39, the Revenge of Mormish. <laughs> the Revenge of Mormish. Uh, they destroyed our fucking like crystals and shit. It doesn't even matter. I mean, Morbus Come on, pretty, dude, you can do it. You can do it. He's got so pretty close. Good Look how much You're faster so he goes. He goes so much faster when you were in the same room, dude. Well, would you would you have rather have headbutted it in all those enemies that I killed, or would you have rather done the slightly slower but safer path? Shut the Come fuck on. up! I don't care. Yeah, yeah. See, step up, bro. Step up. Ah. <laughs> uh. Don't test me, dude. I know what I'm doing. Sort of. 